Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is in the hot seat as deep divisions within his conference could lead to the fourth government shutdown that we have seen in a decade. Current funding expires on September 30th, and McCarthy says the House will remain in session from now until Monday or until lawmakers can agree on legislation. Hardline Republicans from the Freedom Caucus are not happy with the deal McCarthy made with President Biden in May, and they're now threatening to remove him from his seat unless he cuts the budget $120 billion lower than the agreement last spring. Here now to talk more about it, Republican strategist Craig Fuller. He arrived in Washington, D.C. from California with the Reagan administration in 1981. He was also once the director of the Chamber of Commerce. So you come with much experience, sir, and I appreciate you being with us this morning. I want to start with House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries describing the Republican conference as a three-ring circus, and he said this, ring one, shut down the government, ring two, impeach President Biden, ring three, jam your extreme right-wing ideology down the throats of the American people. How harmful is this infighting, or is this just politics in 2023? You know, unfortunately, I think for the American people, this is probably politics uh, 2023. I don't think it serves either party well. I do think the stage was set, though, when Speaker McCarthy, in order to win the speakership, gave so many concessions to his own Republicans in this Freedom Caucus, uh, especially, especially the ability to vacate the speakership. In other words, with one member uh, raising it, they can go through a process to remove McCarthy a speaker. And so to save that speakership, I think he's had to go along with certain things, this impeachment uh, decree being just the most recent of them. He said he wouldn't do it without a vote. He did it without a vote. I don't think he really wants to go through this impeachment process, but he had to do that to get the votes necessary to keep the government running and functioning, and it's not clear he has those votes yet. Right, a lot of things that he's juggling, but I, I sort of land on the fact that most of America, when polled, is in the middle. They're tired of the extreme politics on both sides of the aisle. Are you concerned about the influence of the far right in this situation on McCarthy's decision and on Congress as a whole? You know, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Elections are won when candidates are seen to be addressing the concerns that individuals have. And, and people are not really interested in, uh, you know, the, the, the Biden drama that's going on with the Republicans. They're interested in the cost of living. They're interested in the cost of groceries and of fuel. Uh, you know, it's the economy. It's always been about the economy. Uh, even though there's been improvement in the economy, people are still concerned about it. So these sideshows really don't serve anyone's interest. And People talk about, you know, the president's standing. Well, the, the standing of members of Congress is well below the president or the vice president because they are engaged in this this political kind of kind of rhetoric. And, you know, I there's a lot of theatrics going on right now. This uh, this fight, the pressure always builds to, to keep the government funded. Um, it sounds like there's negotiations going on among people who are more in the middle to try to find a, a path forward i'm i would i would presume they're going to end up uh, what doing what they usually do and that's kicking the proverbial can down the road a while give themselves some more time fund the government 60 90 days and continue to work on on the budget but for speaker mccarthy um, there are he is literally dealing with members of Congress who would like to see the government shut down. It's not just using that as leverage. They would actually like to see it happen. Uh, and that makes uh, that makes things very difficult. He said he's in for a fight. His, his words yesterday, if you want to file a motion to vacate, then file the motion. He used some extra words that I won't repeat. Is his seat really in jeopardy? And, and when you talk about the, the balls that he's got in the air that he's juggling right now, how, how, how high on the list is that priority for him, maintaining his seat or keeping the government open? You know, I, I think Speaker McCarthy for a long time has operated primarily to advance his own political standing in Congress. He's, he's not somebody with deep philosophical views, as far as I can tell from over the years. And so I think he very badly wants to hold on to this seat. Uh, the irony here, it may be that the Democrats could be his best friends because some of them are voicing concern about, if not McCarthy, what next? And the only way that this floor, the uh, Congressman Mac gets can actually 
remove McCarthy is with Democratic support. He doesn't have the support of his fellow Republicans. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.